The best hamburgers are in Barcelona. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's true. Um, Ever travel there? Have I have yeah. ever have I ever no I've never that's been that's where the best hamburgers are. Why and, are you saying and, that? And pizza. What? Pizza? Yeah. What did the Spanish know about pizza? Apparently a lot. They like it. They put beer on their pizza there. What do you mean they put beer on they it? But they put they a they drop of it? beer on it. A drop? Bunch of savages. Oh, um, and here we are back on the show. We already started. Dave McMillan's here. Uh, owner, founder, chef, creator of Joe Beef. Partners. I'm partners with Fred. And, uh, you're yeah. partners, but you're, you're one of... We, we don't have them. So yeah, we're trying they're to... Not <laughs> they're not here. They're not here. They're not here. And uh, and also Liverpool and McKiernan's. I, I closed McKiernan's. I made Joe Beef bigger. Joe Beef is twice right. the size. He, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. That happened not long ago. A year ago. Yeah. Yeah. And... It's cool. It's really nice. I like the, actually. I like the McKiernan space uh, as much as I like the old Joe Beef space. Now it makes we're gonna have to renovate the old Joe Beef space to make it look cool like the McKiernan space, and you know it's never ending. You know you you are part of this new wave of celebrity chefs. How do you like? How do you feel about, about the the title? Oh, like I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really see it well, that you're way. You're a like, modest I feel like guy. I'm, you strike me as a modest guy. I, I'm a recluse, somewhat. You know, <laughs> I am. I, you know, I, come, I, I it takes a lot for me to come here. And to even go to work. So I guess, you know, I have to thank uh, the Twitter sphere. And I guess, I don't know, the, we wrote a book. So, you know. The book did amazing. Yeah, it did well. Yeah. You were on the number one Amazon bestseller list. Was for, I? Yeah. Amazon.com. Oh. The good Amazon. Not the CA one, eh? Not the CA. Not yeah. the CA. They don't have generators on the CA one. You could buy a generator off Amazon.com. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Are you trying to get collapse ready? I'm I'm planning for the future. Really? For, yeah, I'm, pl I'm planning for. Uh, You're planning for the apocalypse. Yeah, I have an off the grid uh, house now. Where? Up up, uh, up north. I can't tell you where. Okay. But uh, I do have an off the grid house with no electricity or road access. Only wow. boat access. Yeah. Boat access. Zombies will never get you. I, yeah. No. And oh, I have an right. ancient forest behind me, where they say Dora the Explorer lives. <laughs> You, you you must have if you know Dora the Explorer you have a child yeah two kids two kids you love yeah, them I love them very much yeah how old are they I have a nine year old and an, and a two year old wow a nice little gap there yeah right yeah are they friends yeah the kind of yeah they they like each other yeah. um you 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 love wine I I enjoy wine yeah I love, I love the beverage made from grapes and you you have a couple wine labels. Do you not? Or, or you've contributed? You've selected? It, it I've done a wine hard. label in the past, I think, yeah. for a company called Resin. Yeah, That's we did, right. Yeah, That's I did right. that a long time ago. And now we have a beer, actually, that we do that we, that we have out right now that we did with Beer Briar, which is the Joe Beef Pilsner. It's called Joe Beef Pilsner? Yeah, it's delicious. Where can we get it? At Joe Beef and other restaurants that my friends own. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm hoping One to get it. One hand washes the other, dude. I'd like to get it into that, like... Uh, you know, retail, like I'd like the public to be able to buy it. Maybe at Water Cheese soon, you know, or. Uh, what else do you want to do? You want to make scotch? I'd like to make scotch. Yeah. Scotch is pretty easy to make, Jap actually. Get the Japanese on board. They're making the best. They stuff. make the best whiskey, 100%. I think so. Whatever they touch, it seems, usually turns into the best, in my opinion. Robots? Best. They're super good at robots. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, they're also super good at fruit juices and cans. You ever have grapefruit soda? You get it from those vending machines. Next no, to the there's candies? a Japanese market on a Korean Japanese market on St. Catherine Street, and they've brought the bottled beverage and the canned beverage to a whole other stratosphere. Tell us about it. Grapefruit juice. You know how it tastes amazing, and then when you buy it at the grocery store, it tastes less than amazing. It tastes rotten. Yeah. Well, Centuri has one in a really cool modern aluminum can. And it's just a blue, beautiful blue can. They're really good at graphic you love design. Objects. Too. Yeah. Well, you paint. And the juice is good. Yeah, I, I paint. But I, I, I've started a, a painting project, which I will finish on uh, January October fifty uh, second of two thousand and thirty five. Like, <laughs> I'm painting the Battle of Trafalgar. Oh. Napoleon versus Nelson in the Strait, in the uh, what is it called? The Channel. Have you ever heard of uh, David Furtick? No. He's a painter. He, he deals specifically with Napoleonic scenes. Oh, that's good. You might really... Actually, I have a piece. You see that, that piece right down there? That the gentleman over there? The Napoleon. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful etching. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You, you love art. Who, who, who's like, like, who, do you, who would you love to have in your collection? Like, what would you love to have in your collection? I'm lucky to be able to say that one of my favorite painters happens to be like one of my good friends. And uh, I was just at his house 10 minutes ago, actually. 
Uh, Peter Hoffer. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Trees. Yeah, the trees, you He's know. He's done other things, but the trees were a big thing. Yeah, I have all of his, the the, the, the fallen over trucks that he's done, this, the, the, the transport trucks. He, he, I haven't seen that series. I have you? them all at Liverpool House. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool. And um, I get to see stuff in his studio, perhaps, that doesn't make it into commercial galleries, I find. The guy's got an incredible talent and perhaps overly talented, perhaps, for the Canadian gallery scene. Well, he, you know? he's with Simon Blais. Mm -mm. He's not with Simon Blaine No, no, he's gone. He left there. So where is he? He's not currently represented in the province of Quebec. Maybe that's should open a gallery. Fire. No, no, that's it's a, not it's my business. It's a tough racket. It's a tough racket. It I is a tough a racket. It is a tough racket. And um, I don't know, the gallery scene, the art scene is a bit strange, I find, sometimes. It's, well, it, it's, it's inclusive. Intense. Yeah. It's, uh, There's nothing more elitist than... Uh, nothing. No. No, they're, they're, they're looking for hits. You know, and the, like the, the thing with uh, a lot of Canadian galleries is, you know, they'll get this great talent. Someone like Peter Hoffer. And I'm sure Simon Blais told them, more trees, more trees, mm. more trees. I'm not, you know, as much as I started, I had a taste for contemporary art. I like Murakami too. And like, you know, but the, the, the older I get, the more I have an affinity perhaps for paintings of horses and boats and landscapes. You know, did you like um, Tom Hopkins? I love Tom Hopkins. He was a friend. He was uh, yeah, a great man. He was a good friend. He was a great man. Yeah. But I, you know, I, I even like old horse paintings and you know, old, you know, all that stuff. You must love Freud. I like Freud somewhat. Yeah, you know, I wish it was dumbed down a little bit. It's perhaps you, overly styled for my taste. And again, so? the hype turns into like millions of dollars, so that becomes a bit strange. Well, you know, to give him credit, I think he could have made a lot more money if he wanted to. Oh, that's for sure. I mean, he died in his sleep at 88 on an estate living... Well, isn't that how I want to die? Or you want to die? I, I, well, I want them to throw my body into space like Spock. And one day, like, find, find myself on the on Genesis. Project Genesis. <laughs> on Project Genesis. I, I, want the, I, I want Kirk to find me. I'm building Project Genesis up north. <laughs> You're going to make it, man. I have it. I have no neighbors. and it's. Aren't, uh, but aren't you concerned about the other people that were already up north with, like, like guns? And they're going to come and take your beautiful setup? Oh, I'm also hoarding... Uh, you know, weapons. There, it, it part. It goes. You know, it, it's all hand in hand with the off the grid living style. Tell us about your weapon of choice. Uh, right now, the arbalete. <laughs> Tell me about it. What right? is an arbalete? It's uh, the the gun, which is uh, which is a bow and arrow. Oh, a crossbow. Yeah, yeah. But what what's an arbalete? Is it larger? Uh, no, it's it's the it's it's a maybe a fancier word for the crossbow, perhaps. It is fancy. Yeah. I see a tattoo creeping up, I, and That's I know it's my daughter's photos. name there. You have a lot of t tattoos. I have a little bit of tattoos today. As again, as I'm older, I perhaps I look at them as errors. Have you had you. them a long time? Yeah, I, I haven't been tattooed in at least ten years. Wow. Yeah. I don't have any tattoos. Now I, I often now when I see pictures of young chefs mm. with full sleeves. Uh, makes me want to run and get them removed. Yeah. If it was uh, less painful, I might do that. There's a bit of scourge in my industry of uh, young tattooed chefs. Tell us about a real jerk. Do you want to tell us about a real jerk? Jacob Richler? <laughs> you know him? From, no, from where? From McLean's Magazine or the writer Mordecai's son. Oh. God, what a jerk off. Really? Yeah. What, 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 did you write a bad review? No, I didn't write a bad review. I just have like a long history with him, like, you know, over the years in the restaurant business. And he just published like some Canada's top 50 list for McLean's Magazine, which he omitted everyone who he's ever had a confrontation with. You weren't on that? Joe no. Beef was not on the top no, 50. No, it's fine though. No, I, I don't really mental. want to get into it because I've already made such a stink about it, <laughs> you know? And I'm hoping that I run into him face to face soon because I don't lay hands on people often. But I will go on the record on this camera saying I will lay hands on him. If you want, we have a space on the roof. We can do a, a fight. We can have a match. I would love to, you know, you guys to sponsor. I like, just want you to grab his face. face. Just grab him by the face. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. Thank you so much it's for my being pleasure, on the show. Dude. Thank you so thank much. You so I wish much. you guys good luck with this. Oh, thank you so much. Dave McMillan, everybody. Joe Beef. I can't afford it. Maybe you can, but it's worth it. I can't everybody. afford it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next week. Oh, uh, Dave, here, have a banana. Thank have you it when kindly. you get there. Delicious potassium. It's it's portable, it's nutritious, and, well, it's ancient. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That's a great quote. That'll be the last <laughs> shot. Good night, everybody.